Okay guys, I've got all the parts here that I need to uh, build my fractal antenna. Uh, if you watched my first video, you saw how to make the uh, fractal antenna itself, how to bend that. I got the two elements that I'm going to use that uh, will be blocked with electrical tape so they don't touch each other. Um, and I've got two middle antennas. I could have made two more of the larger uh, Cook snowflakes and had six of them all, but I think it's a little bit overkill and frankly my hands were kind of tired from bending all this coat hanger. So I decided to just try this method first and then go from there. I've also got a roll of electrical tape. I've got a box of nuts and washers and I've got my uh, screws here. Um, I'm using 832 by one and a half inch screws. I'm going to need eight of them total. And I'm going to need 16 832 nuts and 24 washers. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my uh, elements here in the middle. I marked these holes earlier, but I'm going to show you how I did it. Just lay it evenly on the board where it uh, is about the same distance from all edges and you know that the pattern matches your uh, the bent antenna that you made and then take a piece of electrical tape tape it down in at least two places so it holds its position then I go through and with an ink pen and mark each corner of each star, each top corner of each star. So I have one mark per point. All right, once I have that done, take this tape off, get started, and you'll have your 10 by 10 piece of plywood with six dots on it, positioned relatively uh, square on the board. So then that's gonna be my drill pattern. I'm gonna drill holes for my 832 screws which are going to hold everything together. I've got my first six holes drilled. I used an 1164 inch drill bit. Um, I could have used up to a 3 16 if that's what you have available to you. 1164 works fine. Uh, my screws fit really well. I've taped my elements here, or my first at least one of them, I've taped it in any point that will be crisscrossed with the other element in the middle with electrical tape and uh, I'm going to place them on the board with the screws Now, kind of square things up. When we get done, the two pieces that are separated on the underneath elements, I want, I'm going to put a clip on there to hold those together so that they're touching. For right now, I'm going to mark my holes where my uh, transformer is going to hook up. Now I'm going to go drill my last two holes. I drilled the uh, two holes that I was telling you I needed to drill for the elements to connect to the transformer coax connector. And I also put on a little hanger, just a little cheesy hanger. I used insulated cable that I picked up for like, I don't know, 30 cents a foot. And then a couple of horseshoe nails, basically. So, uh, I've got everything pieced back together. I have washers on the back of my screw heads, on the front of my screw heads, on the back, 
and uh, I'm going to put a washer in between all connections so that I have even connection. And I'm going to attach each of my uh, Cook's uh, Snowflake antenna. I'm going to use the first point of the first star, and I'm going to keep all of my open ends pointing towards each other so that they don't make uh, contact. As I mentioned in my other video, make sure that you scrape any plastic coating off of that corner tip where you're going to want to make contact. Again, uh, always remember to uh, be safety first, conscious. While I was hammering on my hanger, I smacked my thumb with my hammer. So, always wear gloves, whatever, eyeglasses, safety glasses, earplugs, nose plugs, whatever you And now I'm going to tighten each one of these into place by putting a screwdriver on one end. Crank it down pretty good. And straighten them up once you get it good and tight. And I'll do that for all four of them. And then once you get that all on there, you want to go through and tighten these up really well with a screwdriver on the back side and use a uh, crescent wrench on the front. Um, now, to align these, you should be able to move them around a little bit, even with it tight, try not to bend it too much, but the whole idea is this line, this this line here should be pretty much parallel with this line here. So I'm going to adjust that just a little bit so I can bend it around. And if it's out of alignment by the shape, bend it around a little bit if you need to, but you want to, you want to end up getting parallel lines to complete your uh, your uh, fractal. So like this line all the way up through here stays somewhat parallel with this line. This line here parallel with this line. This line here parallel with this line and so on. Got those tightened up. They're aligned pretty good. And that right there probably would make a pretty good antenna the way it is. But I was going to put two additional stars, one here and one here. But basically, I told you earlier, my hands got tired. So I made these, which is a smaller version, a partial. Uh, star, and I'm going to put those in the middle, or the top and bottom, of this piece here. I'm going to do the same way with washers and nuts. And I want to pattern that parallel line here, and the parallel line there. Also, one other thing, when you're tightening these down, watch to make sure that you didn't crimp the end of one of your antennas and it's pushed out, out from underneath the connection. You want a really good solid contact around those. There's my basic antenna all wired up. I'm just going to put on the coax connection, which is a little small transformer. That's right here. I'm going to use two more screws, some more washers and nuts to attach that, and then my antenna should be done. loose ends right here. There's one here and one here. I've got a couple of horseshoe clips that I'm going to put on those to hold them together and try to make continuity with the other section that's bent and connected to the end of the uh, transformer. Don't hit your thumb.
Alright, there we go. Now complete. I'm going to go test it now. Um, here's an example of the reception I'm getting right now with my bunny ears on channel 30 2. You can see how it's glitching out. I have almost no signal. A lot of distortion. Okay, I have my new fractal antenna completely hooked up. Um, and now I have a clear, distortion free picture on every channel. Even the channels that uh, this one was all really, really, really choppy before. You can see my signal is well over 50% on almost every channel. Where's that ME? Here it is. METV before this one was just totally pixelated could not even get a signal could not get a clear show out of it before I made the fractal antenna I had 23 channels six of those were distorted and uh, almost impossible to watch now I have uh, 20 I think 26 channels and all of them are crystal clear like this. You can see I have four separate antenna. And I have one in the middle here that I made. And these are all intrinsic, meaning um, I put electrical tape so that the center pieces don't uh, have continuity. 